All right, so in this presentation, I'm going to show you how to import a picture into a tech document. Uh, right now, I'm using TechMaker, but the basic idea is the same no matter which compiler you're using. So at this point, I've got basically the most uh, basic tech document that you could have. I've just got a begin document, end document, and then a document class. Um, just with a little bit of text here. So it says, hello and welcome to my presentation. There's nothing else going on right now. Let's say um, at the most basic level, all I want to do is throw a picture somewhere in this document. Um, that's easy enough to do. I just have to use a special package. Uh, so we're gonna say use package. And that package is called graphic X, all in lowercase letters. That's going to allow me to import a picture into this document. So let's say I have a graph um, that I wanna throw in and it's just hanging out in my downloads folder. It's this one called graph one right there. I want to throw that in my tech document. Well, there's just one problem. Uh, right now, this is just hanging out in my downloads folder on my computer. It's nowhere even close to that tech document that I have saved. And so when TechMaker goes to look for this file, um, you can't specify a path for where you want it to look. It is only going to look in the folder where that tech document is located. So what you have to do with any picture that you want to include, uh, I'm just gonna move this. I'm gonna hit Control X and then move this into the same folder where my tech document is located. Because when I go and include this picture, it's only going to look within the same folder. So um, just be very careful on that because that's uh, the most common error that you're gonna get is you're gonna try and compile and it's not gonna have any idea where this picture is if it's not located in that same subdirectory there. So just make sure it's moved into the same folder and we should be good. So the next step, uh, I'm just going to use the command include graphics. It puts a little scale feature in there so it tells me you know, if I wanna do full size, half size, that sort of thing, I'm gonna put one for full size. And then here, you just type in the name exactly as it's saved in the folder. So here, notice it says uh, graph one. That's what we're going to type in our tech document here. So we're gonna include graphics, scale, graph one. There we go. Go ahead and hit compile and you can see it throws the picture right into our document. Um, but notice what it did here. It did something a little bit strange. We've got our text right here at the top. We said include graphics um, right after it, but for some reason this graphic is showing up higher than the text in our presentation. Uh, we don't necessarily like that. We would like to be able to tell it exactly where we want this picture to go. In order to do that, you're gonna to need to include a couple more commands. Um, first things first though, let's scale this picture down. That's a little bit big. Let's do 0.5 for half size. It'll be a little clearer. And notice there, when we scaled it, it moved the picture again. So it's jumping all over um, and just kind of throwing it in our presentation wherever we want. We wanna be able to tell that where we want it to go. So we're gonna use another command here. It's going to be called uh, begin figure, because that's what we're including. We're including a picture. So we're gonna put our include graphics uh, command in between a begin figure and an end figure part. It's not gonna change anything right now, um, but it gives us more options to um, modify it however we would like. So um, to specify exactly where in your presentation this picture goes, there's a couple different options that you can put at the end of this begin figure command. Um, you can put a T and that will, put, um, that will put the picture at the top of the page. You can put a B in there that will put the picture at the bottom of the page. But the command that we want to use right now is an H and that's going to say include this graphic here and so you notice now I've got the text and then put the graphic right here after the text that's what it's going to do so uh, now we've got our picture exactly where we want in our tech document um, the only problem is it's uh, it's all the way to the left and I really think it would look better if it was centered so there's another option in between our begin figure and end figure um, we can include the command here uh, centering and that is just going to move it right into the center. Um, so there we go, we've got it centered, we've got it exactly where we want in here. Uh, there's a couple other options you can do. Say we wanted to include a little caption under the bottom of this picture. Um, then you can just go past the picture and you can say caption and then type whatever you would like here. Uh, and let's say the well ordering principle implies induction, which if you don't know that, you should look it up. It's an interesting proof. All right, 
So there we go. And it automatically numbers our figure for us. It says figure one, the well ordering principle implies induction. So there's our little caption. And then if we want to begin typing, you can say, wow, that's really interesting. There we go. And our paper just continues from there. So that's the basic idea. That's the most simple way to include um, a picture in a tech document. If you've got any questions, um, feel free to post them in the comments and I should be answering them and I will be posting some more uh, tech instructional videos later. Thanks.